Welcome to the fourth and final tutorial on how to do a countdown within HitFilm. This example is loop strip and it's much easier than the other three I've shown you. It does require a little bit of masking but it isn't hard and I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, I'm, I'm just going to this working area. What you need to do is create a strip of numbers. So you create your text box. Nine return eight seven six five four three two one and find zero then you might say oh that's too small or something and you change your font but then just get the box resize it the size you want then you duplicate it three times and what I'm going to do is show you what I've already done so a bit of time there's one strip of nine numbers that's for the seconds this one's for tens of seconds, this one's for minutes, and I just added a colon in the middle. Yes, yeah, so I know there's, you can only have five in there, but it doesn't make any difference on this example. Right. So, that's what I'm going to do now. Is you need to create a mask and just cover the digit you want there. So, I'll just put this mask on, you'll see all the other numbers disappear. Disappears. On this one, I haven't got a mask, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's go to zoom in a bit. Just create a. Oh, right one away. There you go. Just create a mask. Just show the number you're in for. You know, for the clock. We'll count down. All right. As simple as that. Now, what you've got to do is you've got to move the strip of numbers down the time you want to display but when you do that the actual mask moves down or up so you need to move the mask at the same time as you move the strip in correlation and I'll show you what I mean so what we need to do is set our starting number first we need to get the transformation of both the mask and the actual numbers Oops. and uh, here we go so that's my, all of my examples have been like 159, so let's get 159 on the clock. That's always a little tricky, so we need to do... I'll turn the mask off to start off with, for the display of it, so you can actually see what's going on. You can always just turn it on when you're ready. Uh, right, so position for the number. So we'll get the number first, and so we're on the minutes. All I like that to show is one, so there you go, look, one. Put your mask on. And you then move the position of the mask up. Show, oh, there you go, it's as simple as that. So let's get the next one as five. And let's go down here, up there. Let's move that just yet, so let's get just getting ready. Move that down. Five. Move the mask. Oh, where's it gone? That's right down there, right. Oops, there we go again. Five. Let's get the nine. Move that down to nine. So the mask is right down here again. So let's go down to the mask. Transform. Okay, so if I turn the mask on now, you'll see. Yeah, one. Do you know? And there's your clock. Right. Let's just zoom in here. So we've got the. Seconds showing. So we want to move it over a second. Again, I'd say it's just easier to turn the masks off. As you know where your clock is. So let's so say put the coal on there, you know exactly where you need. So we need to move that up. So all we need to do now is move the seconds, nothing else. And we're in the seconds here. Move that up. That's 
Good the most close position all the time here. 158. I'll change that to an absolute. Give that a minute. Change that to two. Keyframe. Give it a keyframe there, shouldn't I? Okay. Um, that was the wrong keyframe, so I wanted to do. A little fiddly, we get used to it. Alright, well, 59, just not prepared myself enough. There we go, 58. That needs to go to 7. I'll just show you if the mask moves with it. 57. That needs to go to 6. So, I'm going to change all these into absolute values. You just click on the line, highlights them all. There you go. Click on there, highlights them all. That's what I want to do, it just makes it take a bit of time. So, let's go move over one time. Eight, seven, six. It's as simple as that. And what I'll do is I'll do a few more, and then uh, we'll come back to it. Welcome back. I've just created a few more seconds, and I thought we'd show you the uh, the countdown going down to one thirty-five or something. And you can see the numbers. Got looking behind an uh, a cogwheel clock. <laughs> if there's any questions on maybe something I've missed. Um, or should have explained a little easier. Just uh, make a comment. Now, if I put these masks on, I can see how much much prettier it is. I'll zoom in. There you go. And then obviously you can do any effects you like to this. Um, if you didn't want a, you know, if you wanted to do an old tape deck kind of scroll wheel don't use absolute keyframes use linear if there's any other clocks you uh, or countdowns that you can think of that you'd like me to have a go at let me know and uh, thanks for watching